I want to uh, welcome all of you here this morning and thank you very much for coming. And first, I got, I got to tell you something. I, I was less nervous standing watch at night armed on the Mekong River than I am standing before you this morning. But I would like to take this opportunity to announce formally my candidacy for uh, City Council representing District 1, West Longview and uh, kick off my campaign. Thank you. I contemplating having Gene hold up an applause sign, but I appreciate the spontaneity. Um, I'd like to introduce my wife, Jean, of 46 years, and, and my best friend, uh, without whose support and encouragement I wouldn't be standing in front of you here today. Uh, before I start bragging about myself, I'd like to call uh, Natalia up here, our hostess, uh, the owner of La Careta Restaurant. Uh, she opened, uh, opened the restaurant about a year and a half ago and has developed quite a following. Uh, this place is packed on Friday evenings. Um, Natalia is the kind of entrepreneur that we're going to need in West Longview to revitalize this part of town. And I want to thank you for having us here. Uh, I'm sure if my speech goes on into the lunch hour, she would love to have you stay and eat lunch with her. So thank you. Thank you. Uh, let me first tell you a little bit about uh, myself. Uh, after being a city manager in a couple of smaller communities, we moved here in September of 1980 uh, when I accepted the position of assistant city manager here. We've lived in the same house on Willowwood Street in District 1 since then. Um, my responsibilities with the city um, at that time was uh, public works, public utilities, parks and recreation, sanitation, and community development, and I uh, oversaw about 350 employees. Um, our two children, Stephen and Michelle, graduated from Pine Tree High School, uh, and if you'll allow a little bit of uh, parental pride, <laughs> both of them graduated number eight in their respective classes. Wow. So, uh, Michelle and uh, Stephen are uh, both married, live in uh, Southern California, and uh, we have one granddaughter, Moxie, age seven. I have a bachelor's in government from UT Austin, Hookham, uh, and a master of public administration from the University of North Texas. I went through Navy ROTC at UT and spent uh, three plus years as a naval officer making two deployments to Southeast Asia and Vietnam. We've been members of First United Methodist Church for 34 years. I teach two Sunday school classes. I usher. I'm currently chairman of the church's finance committee, I think for the third time. Uh, I'm a former chairman of the Board of Trustees and chairman of Administrative Council. So why in the world am I running for City Council? You know, we are all truly blessed to be living in this community. But Longview right now is at a crossroads. Um, we've spent 18 months of volunteers, council time, city staff time, developing a comprehensive plan to guide our community into the future. Hundreds of citizens attended meetings and participated in surveys in this endeavor to create a shared vision of Longview's future. You all might remember Gene and I appearing on the front page of the paper, squinting as we're trying to read the screen to take a survey. But to quote the comprehensive plan, this vision is to be a premier community promoting education, business opportunities, and cultural diversity, capitalizing on our heritage and natural beauty, while focusing on families and healthy living creating a safe, welcoming environment 
that attracts vibrant people to call Longview home. But now comes the hardest part, implementation. The plan calls for improvements such as parks, walking trails, bike lanes, sidewalks, thoroughfares, utilities, fire and police station. Our entryways need improving. In West Longview specifically, West Highway 80 and Highway 300. We're faced with a lot of difficult decisions over the next 15 to 20 years. The good news is our local economy remains strong with unemployment only three and a half percent compared to the state at 4.6 and nationally 5.6. Sales tax collections remain strong, and the city's property tax base is very diversified. However, we all know what's happening with the oil and gas industry. I think, though, that our local economy is much more diversified, that we can handle it much better than we did, you might remember, in the downturn in the 1980s. But let's talk specifically about West Longview. Over the past five years, Pine Tree ISD's tax base has fallen from $1.92 billion to $1.89 billion, basically stagnant. The city as a whole grew by $300 million, $5.3 billion to $5.6 billion. West Longview did not participate in that growth. In Pine Tree, our single-family home values over that period of time grew from $894 million to $968 million. But our industrial base fell from 397 million to 330 million. Our commercial base from 345 million to 330 million. And our minerals from 95 million to 47 million. Obviously, we don't have any control over that. The point being, our homeowners are bearing a greater and greater burden of our tax, and this can't go on. Uh, <clears throat> the community, uh, this comprehensive plan states that West Longview is currently, currently lacking in 12 neighborhood parks and three community parks. We need to develop new parks, upgrade our existing parks in order to entice young families to move into our area. Our fire department strategic plan calls for Station 5, which is near the corner of Pine Tree and Highway 80 and Station 7 on uh, Gilmer Road, to be demolished and rebuilt larger and more functional to meet today's needs. You know, West Longview is a wonderful part of our community with a proud history. Pine Tree ISD was established in 1847, only two years after we became a state, and our public school is the 54th oldest public school in the United States. We need to build on this heritage, develop a vision for West Longview where there's a spirit of improvement and growth. Improvements we're seeing, like the the, the new shell station that's going up at the corner of the Loop and Highway 80. Uh, this repurposed grocery store just two doors down. Um, the uh, Longview Lawn and Garden building on West Marshall. Even the Mazios up on Gilmer Road closed, repurposed almost immediately as a T-Mobile store. We need to develop a public-private partnership to foster further development and redevelopment possibly through tax abatements, <laughs> tax increment reinvestment zones. We cannot afford to close our ears and eyes to any new ideas to further this. So, you know, why do I think I'm qualified for this job? I've, I've been associated with municipal government for 42 years, first in the field of city management, followed by 32 years as a financial advisor to 26 East Texas cities, including Longview. I assisted the city of Longview in achieving a double A-plus bond rating, saving hundreds of thousands of dollars in interest costs. I assisted the city in coordinating uh, capital improvement project scheduling with bond issues in order to optimize 
uh, the interest costs and reduce the impact on tax and utility rates. Whenever feasible, I researched and recommended refinancing our debt at a lower interest rate to save money. As a matter of fact, my successor in my old firm just went before council to refinance some debt that saved all of us $6.2 million in interest costs over the life of the bond. Between bond issues, I assisted the city in budgeting and uh, financial planning, and I didn't charge him for that. <laughs> I'm a 30-year member of the Longview Firefighters Relief and Retirement Fund and a former chairman. I think my background will be an asset as we move forward implementing the comprehensive plan. My municipal experience should require a shorter learning period, enabling me to, to be an effective council member sooner. I also served as financial advisor to Pine Tree ISD and Gregg County. I'm hopeful this experience will be of benefit as we move forward with the comprehensive plan, coordinating <coughs> services and improvements. Allow me to share a philosophy with you that I developed years ago in the Navy. I never asked my men to do anything I wasn't willing to do myself. And that philosophy carried over in city management. I collected garbage with the sanitation <laughs> guy. I rode around on police patrol, although they told me I had to stay in the car. <laughs> I stayed up all night with my utility folks trying to get a sewer lift station back up and running. I went out on a grass fire with my volunteer fire department, although I must admit the police, I mean the fire chief came up to me and said, Ed, we appreciate the offer, we got it, frankly you're in the way. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you this story to illustrate that my time on city council will be an equal partnership between you the citizens, me as your representative, working side by side as we move forward for West Longview. I promise I will be an advocate for West Longview. Will the folks of District 1 always agree with the way I vote? Certainly not. But what I can guarantee is I will always be fair weighing all sides of an issue. Thank you again for coming. Let's go win this thing.